Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Begin. This is a CRM application focused on small businesses. All right, let's get started. When you open Zoho Begin, you start on the Deals tab where you will see all your deals in the center of the screen. On the left, you can find the module menu that you can use to switch to other modules like contacts and companies. On the top, you have the search bar as well as your notifications and signals, the quick add button, the settings and your profile icon. Let's go over the deals module. This is the sales pipeline where all your deals are going to be located. To create a new deal, just click on the create deal button and complete the required fields. To open a deal, just click on it. Here we can see all the information related to the deal. On the top, we have a name and value as well as the stage. On the left, we have some related information like related contact and company. And on the center, we have the timeline, notes, activities, emails, stage history, files, and products. The timeline allows you to see all the changes made to this deal on a chronological order. In the notes tab, you can add important notes about this deal. In the activities tab, you can create tasks, events, or calls to keep track of everything you need to do with this deal. In the emails tab, you're gonna see all the related emails to this deal. In the stage history tab, you're gonna be able to see all the times that the stage was changed. In files, you can attach any files you need. And in the products tab, you can see all the products linked to this deal. One way to move a deal to a different stage is by clicking on the stage on the timeline. All right, let's go back to the pipeline. And another way to move a deal to a different stage is by dragging and dropping. Up here, we can see the filters menu that you can use to filter your deals. This way you can find exactly what you're looking for. You can also change the view, which is like a save filter, and of course, create your own views. All right, now we're gonna do a quick search using the search bar. So right now we're searching for a contact, and as you can see, the search bar gives us some results right away. We have at the top the contact, as well as a deal related to the contact and a task. You can easily see information about the contact right there on the search bar. If you wanna see the deal information, just click on it, and the info is gonna show up on the right as well. And to open the record, just click on this icon. All right, I'm gonna close this tab and close the search bar. And now let's open the contacts module. Here we can see a list view of all the contacts we have and create a new contact with the create contact button. So let's open a contact. And in this record, you're gonna find information about the contact as well as a timeline, notes, and the deals related to this contact. In the companies module, you're gonna find all the companies that you have in your CRM. Then we have products where we can add products or services that we sell. And in my case, I only have three. Then we have activities where we can see all the activities we have like tasks, events, and calls. We can also create activities using the three buttons on the top right. The last module we have is the dashboards where we can find widgets and a lot of information about our sales, contacts, deals, companies, and products. The last thing I want to show you is the settings. Under users and controls, we can add users, profiles, and roles. In organization, we can change our organization details as well as currencies. Then we have fields where we can add or remove fields on the different modules we have in the CRM. In pipelines and stages, you can create different pipelines or modify your stages. On this tab, we can create web forms that we can use to collect information and input it directly in the CRM. Then we have workflows that allows us to automate actions. For example, this workflow sends us an email every time a deal is created and the amount is bigger than $1,000. In data administration, you can import or export data, create backups and access the recycle bin. On the integrations tab, you can find all the integrations available. And then we have channels where you can set up your email, connect Twitter, set up a voice over IP phone system, or configure your signals. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Begin is part of the Zoho One suite, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below that you can use to check out Zoho One. Thanks for watching.